Hey beautiful! Welcome back to my tarot channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Roya. I'm an intuitive tarot oracle reader. Now my dear, I hope you're having an amazing day and everything is going fine with you. If today is not the best day, I'm sending you tons and tons and tons of positive energy and I hope everything will be well soon. Now guys, today I'm back with another pick a card reading and today's pick a card reading is actually a candle wax reading and it's all about channeled messages from your future spouse. Now the last one I did is actually not that long ago, I think it was two weeks ago, however when I woke up today I had this feeling that I have to record this reading today. So. I really feel like there may be some urgent messages for some of you guys and I'm really meant to record this reading for someone. So yeah, I really trust my intuition and I thought let's record this reading today. As always, my dear, I have three pals you can choose from and today I have cards and crystals for you guys. So this is pal 1 with the new beginnings card, this is pal 2 with the family card, and this is pal 3 with the happiness card. As always, my dear, please feel free to pause the video, or you can also meditate on the cards if you feel like you need a little bit more time to choose. You will find all the timestamps in the description box and of course also in the comment section. And as always, my dear, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything may resonate with you. But yeah, having said that, let's begin. Hey, pal one, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now let's dive straight away into your reading and let's see what chilled messages do we have for you from your future spouse. Of course, as always, my dear, I already meditated for you guys before the reading and I would say let's start straight away. Let me get you your candle. I already got some very interesting energies coming through through the meditation and I also received a message. However, um, I'm not going to dive into it yet because I want to see whether I can you know, get the whole picture through the candle wicks and then we're going to talk about it. So let me first see what's coming through here. So as always, my dear, please give me a moment. Please give me a moment to tune into the energies in here for my beautiful pile one. Let's see, let's see. What channeled messages do we have for you from your future spouse? The first thing, my dear, okay, all right, so <laughs> the first thing I received when it comes to what message your future spouse has, and this is something about you, it's almost like they want to make you caught, um, aware of this or, okay, so what I'm what I'm seeing is that your future spouse, they want you to, I'm hearing, take off what you are not. Now, let me explain what this message means. Sometimes in life, of course, it depends on our circumstance, right? And it depends on what life we're living but sometimes we may feel like we aren't quite living a authentic life to who we are whether it's through the way we pr present ourselves, or maybe through career choices or the people around us the place we're living in sometimes we, we may feel like this is not me or i'm not really living the way that it feels authentic to me. Maybe sometimes I I feel like I have to be a certain way to be seen, heard, respected or accepted, right? And it's very interesting that I got this message because your future spouse is suggesting here for you to 
to live more authentically. Now, that's a very broad um, statement. And of course, it can mean a lot of things for a lot of people. But the um, core thing in here is that they want you to, to put your energy into more things that feel purposeful to you. Or they want you to live a, a life that feels more authentic to you. Now, you may ask yourself, what does that have to do with my future spouse? Like, why do they care? Why are they saying those things? Well, because what's important to them is your well-being. What's important to them is your happiness. And sometimes we may just not even realize how we have compromised when it comes to certain aspects of our life that maybe make us feel not satisfied because we have just accepted them. And sometimes we need maybe someone else to um, call it out or someone to make us aware of it. And it's kind of like your future spouse is taking a space here for you to reconsider a lot of things you put your energy into which don't feel purposeful or gen like genuinely don't make you happy and of course life is not perfect like that right we all have you know our responsibilities not everyone has the maybe resources or the opportunities to do what they want to do you know some people just they want to survive right so this is of course something that flows into this energy or influences this energy so so much why a lot of people just do what they have to do in comparison to what they actually would like to do now they're not saying this so you change everything in your life you know that's not what they're talking about it's kind of like you yourself taking or creating um spaces time s opportunities for you to just feel more more fulfilled I really feel like this is all about you doing more things that make you feel happy or make you feel like your life is having a lot of positive energy in it so your future spouse wants you to step into more spaces that make you feel joyful and it's interesting how for some of you guys, this could be deeply connected to some kind of life purpose. Maybe some of you guys, you're, you intuitively know that there is something out there, some kind of life, some kind of experience that is really calling you. However, you're holding back from it. Let me tell you, no matter how long you hold back from this, you will still find the way towards it like you can deny this dream you can deny this wish or this life goal that you may have but you will find the way towards it because it's what or it's where you're meant to be it's what you're meant to do another thing i would like to talk about here is that your future spouse <sighs> I heard, <laughs> okay, this is so sweet. It's almost like they want me to tell you that close your eyes and imagine being hugged by them. I don't know, maybe some of you guys have had a bad day or maybe, you know, something happened and you just really maybe need a hug right now. But it is so sweet. I can literally see it and feel hugged, my dear. <laughs> feel hugged by your future spouse. They want me to tell you that they care about you so, so much. They appreciate you so, so much. They're grateful for you. <sighs> and they love you. And even if they can't be by your side right now physically, that doesn't mean 
you can't access this love or you can't access this energy being connected to them. Your future spouse wants to see you happy. They want to see you thrive. They want to see you in your element, expressing yourself, living the kind of life that feels, once again, authentic to you, speaks to you. You feel like the most joyful in. And I do feel like I like I understand now why we got the messages in the beginning because this is what they want. I don't know why this message is coming through, but but it means something to someone. And you know, sometimes we are so much in survival mode, so much in do 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 that we may even forget about also enjoying life that life is not about surviving life is about enjoying it but if you are in this energy in the survival energy for such a long time it can be very difficult to see it in a different way as well and maybe for some of you guys you've been working a lot maybe for some of you guys you've been doing a lot lately and your future spouse, they want you to also make sure that as much as, of course, those things are important, you know, those responsibilities and stuff, it is also very important for us to create spaces in which we enjoy our life as well. Because what is the meaning of life if we just do, if we are not a human being, if we're a human doing, right? And this is a very urgent message for, message from your future spouse. It's very deeply connected to their heart space. So this is something that comes from the heart. This is something that comes from them to you for your highest good. They want you to enjoy your days more. They want you to enjoy your overall you know time more so even if it's you perhaps starting a hobby in your free time or maybe you every single day you know maybe a 10 minute routine that makes you feel like okay i'm um you know connecting with my center i'm really taking care or i'm putting my energy into something that is not only work that's very important to them because once again there is nothing as important as your well-being and I also feel like by the way my dear your future spouse would like to encourage you a little bit more they would like to encor encourage you when it comes to the manifestations you have in mind for some of you guys maybe you are someone who like actively manifests but I feel like for some of you guys, maybe this is not really something that is um, getting a lot of attention or you really focus on that much. And they want to encourage you. They want to encourage you that even if life right now feels like one dimensional and very gray and not that exciting, we still have a lot of power within ourselves. We still can make things or, or create things, like literally. And they want you to be a little bit more playful and allow yourself to also dream. Allow yourself to also... I mean, okay, I'm hearing imagine more courageous or imagining more courageous, excuse me. So what I mean with that is to maybe think of manifestations that maybe right now may not look very um, close, but one day you may go there or one day you may get them. And it's all about... One second, I'm receiving a message.
-hmm. yeah i'm hearing it's all about a positive and hopeful look on life and i feel like for some of you guys maybe you are at times in your little bubble and your future spouse is really encouraging you to look beyond the bubble you know to not only think or try to get what you can get but also you are worthy of so much more than that you know you could get so much more than that maybe for some of you guys sometimes you think um like small small me mm, i just have to take whatever i can like i can't reach this or that and it's kind of like your future spouse wanting to motivate you to manifest more you know more things that you genuinely want not think you can only get i hope i can explain myself um the correct way here because this is an energy which is very dear to them however it can sometimes be a little bit difficult to explain but they want you to manifest bigger and more abundantly because that's what you deserve. But I mean, I mean, of course, at the end of the day, it is your free will and you don't have to do anything you don't want to do, of course. But it's kind of like they want to make you aware of all the potential you're hiding away or all the potential you're um, not letting out. Once again, almost like you holding yourself in this little bubble but there is so much more out there that could be a part of your life or you could bring into your life. So there is this little, I guess, motivation or suggest suggestion that you can manifest so much more than you already are doing. So my beautiful pile one, this is actually all I have for you for today. I really feel like... You know, I don't know if you have listened to the intro, but in the intro, I talked about the fact that when I woke up today, I really felt like recording this reading. It was almost like I received this message, although the last um, channeled le uh, message from your future spouse isn't that long ago. It, I think it was like two weeks ago, but I still felt like recording this one. And honestly, looking into these energies now for you, pal one, I definitely understand why, because I feel like these messages were meant for someone to hear today you were guided to be here you were guided to receive those messages because they could be very very significant for someone so my dear as always thank you so so much for allowing me to connect with your wonderful energy and yeah if you haven't subscribed of course i invite you to do so and if you do my dear don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when i upload and you pick a card or candle wax reading also my dear as always if you would like to connect with me more on instagram i invite you there as well my beautiful pal one take care my love hey pal two welcome to your reading my dear now let's dive straight away into your reading and let's see what channeled messages do we have for you from your future spouse now as always my dear i already meditated for you guys and i would say let's start let me get you your candle all right okay as always my dear please give me a moment please give me a moment to tune into the energies in here for my beautiful pile two what child messages do we have for you from your future spouse what do you need to know let's see The first thing I would like to mention here is that your future spouse, they don't really feel that far from you. Now, let me explain. Their energy is attached to yours. I really feel like, and this is something some of you guys may already be aware of, but you guys are connected. You guys, it even feels like you are... Um, communicating with each other now i'm speaking 
let me explain. I'm speaking here on an energetic level. This doesn't mean necessarily you already know your person, like you have met them, stuff like that. I'm just focusing here on the energies. And what I'm seeing is that you and your future spouse, you are deeply connected to each other. It wouldn't surprise me at all if you, for example, get messages from them and you think that maybe that's your spirit guide, um, like your messages from their higher self. This is the kind of level of closeness I'm talking about here. They are a part of your um, soul family. There is no doubt about that. And also, definitely soulmates, you guys. This is so strong in this energy. And what I find so interesting is that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard, um, look out for the signs. Yes, you definitely receive messages from them already. Now, of course, this can be very different for a lot of you guys. For some of you, maybe you receive those messages through, let's just say, maybe through the dream world. For others of you, maybe you have your own way of receiving messages from your guides. And I really feel, yeah, one of them is in fact your higher... Um, your future spouse's energy coming through their higher self. And this is also why I received a message and it makes a lot of sense now because it was all about don't worry. Don't worry about the paths meeting. Now let me explain what I mean with that. Some of you guys may at times think about maybe whether... Um, your person, you know, when you will meet, how you will meet, maybe you sometimes worry about that. And it's kind of like the energy coming through here and suggesting to you, you don't have to worry about it, okay? The guides are doing their work, they're taking care of that, this is not um, for you to worry about, have trust in it, have trust that you will be guided towards them. And what I also find very interesting is that, okay, why am I receiving so many messages regarding who your future spouse is and your connection? <laughs> why is that? I haven't received a message yet regarding like a direct message from what they have to say to you. This more so feels like insights regarding your connection and who your future spouse is being um, opened up to me. Although I do feel like this is coming from them. I mean, it's kind of like your future spouse's higher self. They want perhaps to make you aware of it. For some reason, maybe this is more so important for you to know. Maybe you are indeed someone who worries a lot. So your future spouse's higher self, they not only want to kind of um, introduce themselves to you as a guide, but they also want you to be aware of the fact that there is nothing you need to worry about. I'm hearing we're taking care of it. We're taking care of it. You concentrate and focus on yourself. Another thing I find very interesting regarding your connection. I'm so sorry, you guys, but this is the messages I'm receiving. I can't control it especially Candle Wex readings. I mean, I set the intention. However, the messages that come through, they come through. It's not like in tarot in which you can get some more cards to get more clarification or more messages. No, this is a little bit different. And as I was saying, another thing I'm receiving regarding your connection is that there is a beautiful balance between the feminine and the masculine energy. Now, of course, we all have the feminine masculine energy within us. In unions such as this, in spiritual unions like that, one person embodies more so the masculine and the other embodies more so the feminine. And in your particular case, my beautiful pal too, you guys beautifully embrace those energies and it's kind of like the union you have with each other. It allows you to naturally and beautifully um, embody this energy and 
live this energy. Maybe, for example, maybe someone watching this is more so the divine feminine. However, maybe because of your life circumstances and experiences, it is a little bit difficult for you to step into this feminine energy. Although this is what you may feel the most authentic in or the um, it's it feels very nurturing to you but still it is very difficult to do that and it's interesting how i see in this particular um coming together you guys are gonna be so almost like supportive of each other when it comes to embodying this and stepping into this energy and i literally see two energies you know working and almost like dancing with each other dancing is the best way to explain it i have on one hand the masculine energy and then the feminine energy beautifully dancing with each other and you guys the only way i can describe this is a blessing pile two you are wow you are blessed because these kind of connections are not something that everyone is gonna experience in you know their lifetime and this is something so special. You have a spiritual connection that is gonna... It is a gift. It is a gift. I see that this union is also gonna trigger you in the way that you may have to look at certain parts of yourself that you may not be that comfortable to do. You know, sometimes such connections may trigger us or they may um, even mirror certain energies that we may not like with ourselves. So we kind of feel like we have to work on certain aspects of ourselves that we try to avoid at times. And this is also why some people say that those um, connections, they're not the easiest because there is work that sometimes needs to be done, especially spiritually and i see that for you guys i see that especially something regarding your childhood or maybe connected to your inner child that you will have to perhaps look into and heal and process but what i find very sweet is that i see your future spouse Yes, they may trigger this healing journey, this healing process, but they will support you in that. For some of you guys, this person can even be a twin flame. But of course, as always, take it how it resonates because not everyone may believe in certain um, concepts, but still, this is a message I'm receiving, so I need to talk about it. Can we get a little more information about like messages regarding your future spouse? Although I feel like these messages, they're not that much out of place because that's what she meant to hear. Maybe someone needs this kind of confirmation or something about that. But come on, like <laughs> this is a channeled messages from your future spouse. No direct messages from them. Let me take a second and tune into the energies and see whether I can receive anything. okay oh, good finally <laughs> i heard i am so proud of you i am so proud of you and how far you've come in life now i feel like this message coming from your future spouse is not necessarily like very often people think that someone can only be proud of them if they achieve certain like social milestones or you know socially accepted like successes and stuff like that but i feel like this is not so much ab about that it's more so about the the inner um journey that you've come i feel like you pal too you are someone who you've gone through your own battles and very often there has been times in your life in which you wanted to give up or you were about to give up however you didn't allow that to happen you pushed through no matter what and it definitely wasn't easy absolutely not 
but you pushed through it and your future spouse they are so proud of that they're so proud of you battling your own demons and coming out victorious <sighs> i'm hearing i'm honored to have you in my life wow and this could actually be something they will tell you i also would like to talk about something a message i received already through the um, through the meditation and it's being picked up on again i really feel like my dear there are some changes that you need to prepare yourself for changes that will come your way changes that will enter your life through your future spouse and this can actually come through from the beginning maybe in order to be with this person there are certain changes that you guys need to adapt to or bring into your life transformations that you need to um like transformative processes that you guys will go through together and it's kind of like your future spouse is coming through here wanting to let you know so you can prepare yourself for those energies i heard i miss you i miss you so so much and I can't wait till we reconcile together. Till we reconcile again. Yeah, for some of you guys, you definitely have a... There is no doubt about that. I even feel like life, like past lives could be a huge thing here as well in this pile. Also, for some, not for everyone, this is for the minority of you guys... You could have met this person already, but it's kind of like, once again, just the tip of the iceberg, just for some. The majority hasn't met this person yet. <sighs> yeah, I don't know why, pal, um, too, but for you guys, it's almost like we got so much information about your connection. And yes, this is a soul connection. I really feel like there is something coming for you, something big when it comes to your love life. And there is a lot of growth that both of you guys will go through. I don't know, but there was definitely a huge emphasis here on the connection that you guys have. So... I guess your future spouse, they really want to make you aware of this. They want you to prepare for this. Because there is one thing, um, you know, wanting this. But there is another thing, being ready, right? You can want something, but not be ready for it. And it's kind of like maybe they've taken such a long time. Or the majority of this reading to explain certain concepts between you guys. Because... Something which is very crucial is for you guys to actually also, when it comes through, to be receptive to it. And that's what I mean when I say ready. That when it comes through, you don't push it away because all of a sudden you feel so overwhelmed that you want to run away from it. But you actually understand how to deal with it. And this can very well be a process that you need to go on right now to prepare yourself for such an intense connection. And let me also say that when you meet this person, it will be pretty evident, like pretty clear to you that they are your soulmate or they are a soul, um, like someone you have a spiritual connection with. Yeah, this is actually all I have for you for my deep how to. I'm so sorry, but I... I really did not receive a lot of direct messages from your future spouse. It was kind of like they were giving me um, insights regarding who they are and what connection you guys have. So yeah, when things happen like this, there is a reason for it. 
But hey, still, please let me feel, um, excuse me, <laughs> I can't speak. Please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading, how you feel about the messages, my dear. As always, I also invite you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And if you do, my dear, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload and you pick a card or candle wax reading. And yeah, also, my dear, as always, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal 2, take care, my dear. Hey, pal 3, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now, let's dive straight away into the reading and let's see what chilled messages do we have for you from your future spouse. As always, my dear, I already made it for you guys and I would say let's start. Let me get you your candle. For my beautiful pile three. All right, all right. So as always, my dear, please give me a moment. Please give me a moment to tune into the energies in here. For my beautiful pile three. What do you need to know? What messages does your future spouse have for you? Let's see. Oh my goodness, that's so sweet. The first thing <laughs> the first thing I heard was you're my home. Oh. I would like to tell you guys something when it comes to your future spouse's energy. Your future spouse's energy is very warm, very kind. Like their heart space, maybe that's a better way to phrase it. Their high heart space is is very widely open. And this person, whoever your future spouse is, my dear, they have a lot of love to give. This is someone who has a lot of love to share. In fact, emotionally speaking as well, it really feels like this person is very healthy they know how to give they know how to receive especially coming back to relationships or romantic relationships because that's the connection you guys have right that's what we're focusing here on it feels like right <laughs> there's no other way to say it it's, it feels right i really feel like when you're gonna meet this person for those of you guys who haven't of course for some maybe you already have but when you meet them, or for those of you guys who have met them, you may be able to confirm that because you already experienced that. It's going to feel right being with them, speaking with them, being close to them. And this message I talked about in the beginning, the um, you feel like home, you know, this home homely energy, it's because almost like belonging to each other you know when you belong to a place you may call it home like when you feel like you belong there and this is the kind of energy i'm i'm receiving for you guys as well and this is such a sweet way to really open this energy open this reading well i can already say that wow so sweet My dear, your future spouse today definitely stepped in and wants to compliment you, okay? Because I'm receiving compliments. I heard you're so beautiful. I heard tell them they're so beautiful. That's what I heard. <laughs> and it's not only that. Another thing I received was my temptations <laughs> oh my goodness like i don't know why pile, pile three let me tell you your piles energy feels so different from the other piles this one feels much more playful this one feels much more light-hearted not that the other um piles got like serious energy or such thing no but 
this is just so different. <laughs> I can already say that the, this energy is probably my favorite one today. But as I said, I heard you're my temptation and... One thing that I can already say is that you and this person, you're going to have a lot of attraction for each other. The attraction is going to be there. The, the temptation, the desire. Pretty evidently. Like, you guys are going to feel a lot of those feelings for each other. And on that level, when we talk about intimacy, I also feel like there is a lot of happiness there a very happy intimate life and also coming back to your future spouse's energy another great way to explain it is that your future spouse's energy feels full of love their energy is radiating love it's very high vibrational yes that's a better way to phrase it I feel like when you guys meet each other, th there is a lot of almost like adventurous energy that you guys are going to dive into because this is who they are and they're also going to bring you in that space. And I see a lot of also creative energy being expressed, not only through um, the intimate stuff, but also like through, for example, a creative activity or just creating something with each other in general the aspect of creation for some of you guys for example you could also create a family with each other but your energy and especially this person's energy it feels so abundant so so abundant you guys I even heard family space and I know why I saw almost like a dining room in which a family was gathering and eating a something with each other you know this the sense of community the sense of family closeness it's coming through here as well you are in my thoughts i think about you all the time I feel like this message is specifically for those of you guys who have already met your future spouse or maybe are already with them. Your future spouse, they think about you all the time. And, you know, I talked about the, the playfulness that is attached to you guys' energy, right? At the same time, when we talk about you guys as individuals um you guys definitely or let me put it that way your your relationship it's a very mature relationship as well so you guys you came together or when you come together you come together with intentions mature intentions this doesn't feel like, for example, you guys may be, you know, having something casual and then this turning into that. No, it feels like mature intent. Like, is mature intentions even the right word? I know. Um, because, I mean, if someone wants to have some, like, casual stuff, that doesn't mean they're not mature. You know, it's all about your free will and what you want. You're a free person. You can decide it. So maybe mature is not the right word here. I would say serious. Yeah, serious is a better way to say it. I feel like the intentions between you guys are going to be pretty serious from the beginning. And let me tell you, when we talk about your future spouse, they're very grounded as well. 
they're giving me earthy energy. I mean, they could be an earth sign like Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but that's not really what I'm focusing on here. That's an energy which is coming through. And I also feel like my beautiful pile three, for some, this could even be love at first sight. But of course, as always, take it how it resonates because not everyone may believe in certain um, concepts, but that's a message I'm getting, so I need to voice it. Yeah, I heard commitment. Hmm. Commitment, union. Team. You guys are going to be like a team. A great team with each other. I'm hearing we're rising together. Wow. That's so interesting. I, I love your future spouse energy. Their energy is very good to work with. Like even now energetically, I'm, I'm speaking here about um, what I'm doing right now. It's very good to work with. This is something I can say for sure. Is there anything else? I have received this message before in my previous readings and it's coming through again. I, I remember this message. Now, maybe you have seen other readings of mine, maybe candle wicks or pick a cards in which this message came through, but I heard you are a wish fulfillment for me. And this is not you saying that, this is your future spouse saying that, that you are a wish fulfillment for them. However, I think in the past, when I received this message, it was more so you thinking that. So we have it now coming through from them, which is also very interesting. Another thing, my dear, that I already received coming through from the, from the meditation, and it's kind of like, I'm receiving the message now more clearly, like I'm understanding it better. It could be the case that divine timing is playing a role here. You guys are coming together or meeting to, uh, with, I'm sorry, I can't talk. You guys are meeting each other at the right time. Of course, for those of you guys who haven't met them yet. Yeah, when we talk about your reading, my beautiful pal three, there is really like, it's very straightforward. I feel like we already speak a lot, the messages, like there is nothing more coming through. And it's a very um, short reading, but you know, it's kind of like everything has been said. Like, and this is what I was also meaning, although there were also a, like a lot of more things, but one aspect of why I said that it's very easy to um, work with this energy of your future spouse is because I was receiving messages like that, you know, just after each other. And yeah, <laughs> your future spouse has a wonderful energy. And I can already see that when you meet them, you're going to be open to their energy. You're going to be open to their high vibrational energy. So my beautiful pal three, this is actually, yeah, all I have for you guys because I'm not getting anything else. So my dear, please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. Also, my dear, as always, if you haven't subscribed, I invite you to do so as well. And if you do, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload and you pick a card or candle wax reading. Also, my dear, as always, I invite you on my Instagram as well. So feel free to also, yeah, join there. My beautiful pal three.
Take care, my dear.